Yo, what's up everyone? Back with another video here. And today's video is another vacuum review. This time I have the Bissell Power Force Helix. Now, you're like, um, uh, didn't you review the Power Force Helix? Well, yes, I did. But, uh, the one I have at my house is the newer upgraded version of this, uh, Power Force Helix. Uh, I, I have, the one at my house is the upgraded version of Power Force Helix, which is the model of 2191. This is different. And this is the older version of the Power Force Helix. So, and I will be reviewing this today. So let's get started. So this is a Bissell Power Force Helix. Power for cleaning, never lose a suction. Okay, this right here, power for cleaning, I believe that's true. That this machine does have power for cleaning, but never loses suction. That's a lie. That's a big lie. Power for cleaning is true, but never loses suction is a lie. And it says it right here. Um, there's your logo, Bissell. And you can see it has some deep scratches to them and I'm really curious on how that happened um, but that's some deep scratches right there same on this side too but you got your Bissell logo right there and you got the same thing that says here you got it says power for cleaning and never lose the suction power for cleaning is true never lose the suction is a lie um, and you have five height adjustments from bare floor, low carpet, medium carpet, medium high carpet, and high carpet. Um, yep, and the attachments, it is missing the little brush combo tool. It's missing that, but it does have, it does have the extension wand. It has the extension wand, and it has the crevice tool, so it hooks it hooks on just like that. So yeah, it has these two attachments. It has the extension wand and the crevice tool, and that just goes back inside there, and it just goes back inside of here, like so. There, it's in. But it's missing the brush tool, and here's the hose right here. Um... And here's the power switch, here's the foot release, um, and here's the sticker right here, the information, model 1240, made on the 132nd day of 2015, so this is a 2015 unit, um, 8 amps, Point pretty explanatory um, and there's your full mark right there here's your cord and I found this in the garbage by the way and the cord was not cut so that's a good thing that the cord was not cut on this machine because I'm sure uh, if I did not grab this um, some time later the cord would have been gone, so, and I, I didn't know how long it was on the street for, but it was on the street for a while, and I, I got it before the cord was gone, or parts were missing, or whatever, I just got it before it, all that, whatever, what happened, um, and the foot latch works on this one, the foot latch works. And like I said, it has the extension wand and crevice tool, missing the combo tool, uh, power switch, foot release, cord, hose, foot hose. Here's the front of the unit. This is all power for Celix, power for cleaning, never lose suction. And this right here is a washable filter, which means if it gets dirty, 
you can wash the filter. So right there, you got this little power for cleaning of the suction. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you the plate one more time. 1240, 132nd day, 2015, 8 amps. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and unwrap the cord now. We're going to vacuum this carpet right here. It's pretty dirty. It would just be a quick test. So I'm going to go ahead and um, turn this right here. And just take the cord off. And one second for me to uh, get the uh, the cord on and all that stuff. Because it takes kind of takes me two hands to do this. But it won't be long. See, I got the cord unwrapped. And now all I have to do now is plug it in. Ow. All right, let's take this out. I don't know what that is. All right, it's plugged in. And also, I did replace, I replaced the filter in this. And here's the filter that was in it before. I still got it. It's a good, it's still a good filter, but I put a replacement filter in it. Um, but yeah, this is the filter that was in it when I found it in the trash. This is the filter that was in it. It's clean. It smells like someone's house. It smells like an old lady's house, but um, whatever. Just put the cord on the cord hook there. This right here is your cord hook. I hope you can see that. But this right here is your cord hook. Then you put your cord right here. And it just hooks in there. And you'll hear a click. There, like that. I hope you heard the click. So that means your cord won't get damaged or avoid damaged. All right, so let me just pull it out of the way. And I will be showing you the performance of this machine. And also, uh, the brush roll does need replacing in this. Uh, see, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. That brush roller does not sound the best, so it will need a brush roller in it eventually. Uh, the brush roller is going to need replacing soon. Like, I mean, very, very soon, the brush roller will need to be replaced, but it still works okay for now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this running. So here we go.
Like I said, the brush hole is going to need replaced really, really soon. Uh, you can hear the bearings are going out in it. Um, not the motor, the brush roll. Um, the bearings are going out in the brush roll, so the brush will need to be replaced soon. And you can see, um, uh, you can see it, the suction didn't look very powerful. Um, it still had uh, suction. It still had some suction to it. It's still, see, you can see it did a pretty good job cleaning the carpet, so it's still got, and again, that was my dog. Um, but yeah, you can still see it had plenty of suction to get all this up right here. Um, but the suction is starting to get weak, and that's due to dirty filters. Um, so, well, I don't know. So anyways, so yeah, that's the review of the Thistle Power for Helix. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace.